Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. Today we are in the park. Uh, you can see there's a couple gyms in the park as well as a couple pokey stops. Um, I'm going to be riding around in my car. It's like 95 degrees out. Let me see what the temperature is that my car says. Okay, my car says it's 88, but it's super sunny. It's super humid. Uh, so the the humidity, the, the, what it feels like outside is around 100 today it's supposed to be even hotter tomorrow but i thought i'd head to the park we're gonna pop an incense and uh, see how this goes we're just gonna be driving around the park maybe i'll get out and hit up these gyms i think i know where these gyms are okay that's the critter corner never mind is this the tall yeah this is the observation deck maybe we'll go over there and i'll show you guys that uh let's go ahead and catch this weedle uh, we're going to be hatching 10k eggs today, so make sure, even if you're not too interested in the driving around part, these eggs will get hatched today, so uh, I think that should be interesting. Hopefully we can pull maybe an Aerodactyl. There, okay, well, Weedle, Weedle is out of here, uh, but that's going to be the start with the three-step glitch still in effect. I, I love to go get that Vulpix. Like, I would love to go get that Vulpix, but I can't because of the three-step glitch. I, I could walk in the wrong direction forever and never find this Vulpix. Uh, or in the right direction and just miss the Vulpix. So, we're just going to be driving around. Whatever Pokemon I find, I'll make sure and record it. Uh, anything else, egg hatching, stuff like that, I'll make sure and pull over and record it. I'm just going to be driving around looking for stuff within the park. Uh, obviously, when it cools down... Uh, I will come. I'm gonna come back to the park and kind of walk around, do my do my thing, walk around and see what I can find. Hopefully, a three-step glitch gets patched here soon because I think that would be one of the most fun parts in this park. It's a huge park, as you can see. All this green is the park. Uh, there's even a river, and it goes way back into that corner, uh, which makes this even. Uh, bigger of a park and it heads off into that direction as well so there's a lot of things in this park uh to find and see and stuff like that there's just a large area it should be fun to catch pokemon in once the three-step glitch is fixed uh but just wanted to give a little bit of an intro let you guys know what we're doing today uh but hopefully we can find some cool pokemon or hatch some nice eggs uh but let, let's get going and see what we can find. I think I'm gonna pop a lucky egg so when those ha eggs hatch I'll get double xp uh so let's head All right, guys, so here we go. First Pokemon of the day. We've got an Oddish here. Uh, what's really nice about this park is they have a lot of area for you to pull over. Um, so I can pull over a lot in my car and catch these Pokemon because I don't obviously want to be driving when I'm trying to catch Pokemon. Um, I'm working on getting some things set up so I can... Uh, I'm going to start bringing my other phone with me when I do these. And then I'll take little videos of the different areas so you guys can get a better look um, of... You know where I'm catching Pokemon. Oddish, get in the Pokemon. Oh, and I just completely whiffed that throw. I need this Oddish because I'm working on getting a high level vile or a high combat power vile plume. So I am working. I do need uh, to catch this Oddish, and I still can't catch this Oddish. Oddish, get in the Pokeball. But like I said, I'm going to bring my phone, give kind of a panoramic view, like a quick. Oh, okay, Oddish, you're getting a Raspberry. And you're going to get a Great Ball. I haven't been using too many Ultra Balls. I used an Ultra Ball, Ultra Ball today when I went out to breakfast. Uh, there was a... There was a... Uh, there was a Vena... Or no, not Venusaur. There was a Bulbasaur. And I, I wanted to catch it because I don't have Bulbasaur. So I wanted to get it for the Pokédex. And I threw an Ultra Ball. And it only let me throw one before it ran away. Uh, so, okay, here we go. First egg hatching. This has actually worked out pretty well. Uh, I don't know if this is the 10k egg yet. I'm doubting it. This may be a 5k. Yeah, okay, maybe. I don't know what a magic carp is under. Is magic carp a 2k egg? I don't know. We're up to 47 magic carp candies. I think that was not a 10k egg. What was that? I'm thinking it was a... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to put the 2. Oh, well, that's fine. We are 9.51 out of 10 for that one um, i'm gonna hatch all the 10k today whether you know i have to keep driving around this thing for like an hour it's hot there's no one here the park is completely dead so that's great uh but let's see let's get back out here see if we can find any more pokemon all right guys we are back we've got a pidgeotto here i actually 
Uh, it didn't record, uh, so I've got to show you a couple things uh, that I did. One being I put a Pokemon at this gym uh, to help Team Mystic. Uh, I want to go capture that other gym, but it is so hot. I don't want to hike out into the middle of the woods and then have to fight at the gym forever because there's four Pokemon there. Got an excellent. Kind of sat here on the side of the road. Uh, I'm happy. I'm thankful that it's kind of a slow day at the park. I'm not going to be running into a bunch of people. There we go. Got ourselves a Pidgeotto. Not anything too great. But actually, that allows us to evolve. Oh, here we go. We've got an egg. More importantly, I don't think this is a 10k egg. Could be wrong, but I don't think it's a 10k. I don't know. Is Clefair or Chansey a... 10k? I'm not 100% sure. We'll look. First of all, gym. Uh, we now have the strongest Pokemon at this gym. Our Hypno, our 1151 Hypno. Uh, let's take a look. Was that a 10k egg? That was nah. Was that a 10k? That was a 10k egg. Okay, so our first 10k egg was a Chansey. I wish it was a little bit stronger. That, where is Chansey in terms of, there it is, Chansey. I wish it was a little bit stronger. Like, look, it can't even get that much stronger if I powered it up. Hey, I just noticed I'm over 100,000 Stardust. Nice. Uh, but we did hatch our first 10k egg. It's a Chansey. Still holding out for something better, I guess. But let's get ourselves a Pidgeot, a new Pidgeot. So let's go ahead and evolve here. I've Since I've hit level 20, I've started to not grind for levels as much. I'm not caring about maximizing my XP. I want to maximize my Pokemon now. I'm hoping for a 1,000 plus Pidgeot here. Maybe like a 1,050. That's a, that's my hope. 1,050. At least a 1,000. Yeah, oh, 1,059. I will take that. That is a nice Pidgeot. So I can unstar this Pidgeot and star this one. Alright, so I also found a Vulpix. Uh, as you can see, there's one there. They're in this park. If this turns out to be a hotbed for bull picks, I'm going to be making a lot of episodes in this park because, as you can see on the side and you've seen in all the episodes, Vulpix is near the top of the Pokemon that I want to find. Uh, I do have one Vulpix that I had that I hatched from an egg, but that's not the same. I, I want to get a nine tails overall, uh, so we're working towards that. But let's see if we can get out there and find anything else. Alright guys, so this is a little bit more interesting of a find. We found a Meowth. Obviously, I want to get myself a Persian, so we need to be catching Meowth. I think I have one Meowth right now, so this is a nice find, finding another Meowth. Uh, I'm always happy to find Pokemon that I have a limited supply of, like, that I've only caught a few of, so I'm always happy to find those. Yeah, you can see I had one other Meowth, and we've got a Pidgey here as well. We're finding Pokemon in twos here, so that's pretty cool. It's nice for video purposes, so you guys can watch me catch two Pokemon at least. They always seem, though, to pop up where I'm. it's like a bad spot to be sitting. Like, this isn't a horrible spot. People can go around me, but I just, I just don't like sitting, like, in the middle of the road. But we caught a Meowth, still looking for another Vulpix. Vulpix is still on my, uh, my little nearby list, but... Who knows, he's probably out here in the middle somewhere where I can't see him. Uh, that's just my luck, but let's continue to see if we can find ourselves this Vulpix. Alright guys, we found a Vulpix. Finally. Hopefully I can catch it. Don't run away after one Pokeball, please. Please, Vulpix, don't do this to me. Don't do it like the last Vulpix, just get caught. Yes! First caught Vulpix. Let's go. Now, this area over here, I'm not going to be over here today, but maybe the next time I come to the park, I will hang over here. Look at that. There are two more Vulpix in this area. I mean, it's crazy. I'll drive to the end and turn around, and maybe I'll head back. We'll do that just to see if we can find a Vulpix, because this is the only time I'm coming over here. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to head back to my normal, to the normal route. This is kind of off. Uh, this is the Disc Golf area. Uh, there's actually like a disc golf thing going on today, so I definitely want to get out of here. Let's catch this Rattata first. 
But this area has been crazy with Pokemon. I haven't been showing you because I caught like two Raditas and like a Pidgey. And I didn't catch the other one. There were like four more Raditas and I was like, yeah, I don't need to catch all of these. You don't need to be hanging out at the park all day. Okay, so let's drive around here. We'll just see here on our way out of this area uh, if we find any more Vulpix. Uh, it would be awesome if we did. I'd be super hyped uh, to catch two Vulpix because... I don't know how long have I been playing this game. It tells you here, right? Yeah, we started the 8th. So, the 8th would have been... Uh, see, I'm not even going to catch this rat until, like, forget him. Um, that is that two weeks ago? Yeah, today's the 22nd that I'm recording this. You guys will, I think, see it the 24th or 25th. But look at all these ratatas. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't want you. I kind of want to go back into that service area because I feel like that's where these Vulpix are hiding. Uh, but who knows? It's a Coca-Cola truck back in the service area. I don't know why that is. All right, Ratata, you're getting one more Pokeball. If you don't get caught, we're done with you. Okay, I think I caught him. Yeah, we caught him. There's a bridge up here. It actually was providing some... Uh oh oh we've got a we've got another growl or meowth growlith meowth okay so make sure let's get this about to drive off the road okay so I have a nice little spot here I think I took too strong of an angle at this like they have like this little overhang all right there we go got the meow so it's actually a decent idea to keep recording, because it looks like we have Pokemon Gold... Oh, here we go, 10k egg. I'm like 90% sure this is the 10k. Give me like a beastly Aerodactyl. A couple people tweeted me pictures of beast. Okay, alright, I'll take an Electabuzz. What's it looking like? What's it looking like for combat... Oh, let's go! 1123 combat power. Nice. All right, so let's get out of this area. Look at that. Look at that. Three Vulpix, man. Three Vulpix. Like, this park is about to be home. Like, when it cools down, there are so many side trails. We are just going to go crazy hunting Vulpix. Like, it's just going to be insane trying to find Vulpix. Now I just need to find a park where there's Growlithe. Uh, because I really want an Arcanine. But I will take a Ninetales, like... I think the Pokemon that I want the most, um, well, I always like Ninetales because we always had a yellow lab, uh, which kind of looks like a Ninetales, even though Ninetales is more of a, looks more like a cat, but, um, it always reminded me of a kid of my dog, so that's why I like the Pokemon, but looks like we're not going to find any more Vulpix on our way out. Um, that, yeah, that is the disc golf area back there, so I'll head back there, um, on a day where I know the park isn't busy. I'll go during the week, especially once school starts for kids, uh, high school kids, which is just a couple of weeks away. All right, Pidgey, I guess I'll catch you. If, okay game, let me catch this Pidgey. All right, let me, there's some parking over here, so let me get over there. Actually, I gotta let this Pidgey, the Pidgey caught. Okay, good. Good Pidgey. Anything else in our path here? I don't think so. We've got one more 10k egg that I that I have to hatch here. We're 8.6 out of 10 for it. We still have all these Vulpix on our little nearby list, so that's nice. It means I can still find Vulpix out here. It means they're still out here, which means there's a chance for them... Uh, in the main circle here for me to find the Vulpix. I found the last Vulpix over there. You can see the blue dot that I'm creating. Uh, that's where I found the last Vulpix. He ran away. There are some people congregated back there. I don't know what they're doing back there. Um, but that's where I found the last Vulpix now. I think I'll drive around there this time just to check uh, one last time. If that turns into like a Vulpix spawn, oh my gosh, it's going to be crazy uh, to go back there. There is a couple of apps that have come out, as well as a internet thing. It's a website that lets you see what Pokemon are, where they're located. But most of them are, like, uh, hearsay, like, you know, this person said they're there, so we posted on our site saying, you know, 
that that's where they are. I need to turn off Twitter notifications because those are annoying. Alright, Pidgey, you're either getting caught here. Okay, he got caught. Okay, good job, Pidgey. Alright, let's go see. I'm going to check this area up here for the Vulpix, and then I'll cut this little section of the video. This is kind of a long, long part to the video, but we did find a Meowth. We did find some decent stuff, as well as I started the video with the Vulpix. We hatched a 10k egg, so this clip has been important. Okay, so here we go, here we go, here we go, egg hatching. Is this a 10k egg? No, that's not a 10k egg. Is that a 5k egg, I think? Goldeen, almost can evolve my Goldeens into a Sea King. Eh, I don't want to catch that Raditus, so we gotta go back onto this side road here. It looks like a road, like, through the Pokey, like, through the Pokemon Go app. It looks like a, it looks like a road, but it's really not. It's like a... It's a gravel road, but it's, like, hidden. You have to know it's here. You have to, like, have gone to this park before to know that this gravel road is here. Okay, so now the car that blocked me in the last time I was back here is no longer here. So I don't know why they came back here unless they're doing exactly what I'm doing. Alright, so right on the corner up here is where I found the Vulpix that ran away on me. But it doesn't look like he's back. Doesn't look like I'm going to get another shot at a Vulpix here. Which is disappointing. Still three Vulpix on the, uh, on the old nearby list. But no Vulpix back in the area where I found them last time. So I'll keep driving around. Wait until we hatch this 10k egg at least. Uh, then it may be maybe video. Uh, only so much driving around in a circle that I can do. Um, but we, but th I would say this was a successful trip. I found out that this park is a hotbed for Vulpix, which is great. Uh, I wish the nearby steps worked, because then I'd probably get out of my car and run around and find Vulpix. But since it doesn't work, I can't do that. Uh, but let's go ahead and cut it here, and I'll see you guys when we find something else interesting. Okay guys, on my hunt for Vulpix around the park, we do have a Paris here. So let's go ahead and catch him. I guess we'll go ahead and catch the Rattata. And I'll finish this circle here. It's kind of a little, it's a little alcove I actually forgot was here. Uh, and it actually created a lot of more space that I can drive. It's actually a pretty big alcove. Um, we'll, we'll finish the drive around and see if we find anything else here. Uh, Paris there. Let's go ahead and grab the Rattata here. There were actually four Vulpix on my nearby list earlier. I think there were down to three, but there were four Vulpix on the, uh, on the nearby list, which is encouraging for when that gets the, the three-step glitch gets fixed. Uh, it should be meaning easy Vulpix hunting uh, inside of this park. Uh, as you can see, oh, we're, we're back to four Vulpix on the list. I uh, actually make it a little square at the top there. I just don't know where they are, and it's too hot for me to go. I just don't. It's too hot, and I don't want to go running around the park in this heat, I guess. It's the real thing. Turn around here and see if we can't find another Pokemon or two here at this little alcove. The Paris was a decent find. Okay, so Vulpix has moved back up to the front. I actually, I've been told that the nearby list is even screwed up, that the Pokemon aren't even in order anymore. I don't know, I can't really confirm or... I don't know, I don't know anything. I don't know about it enough to confirm that or not. I haven't really done any research into the three-step glitch, but I have, thir I have heard that, uh, that they're not even in the correct order. Which is really disappointing. I guess we could drive until we find... We'll just we'll just take a little drive here until we find a Pokemon. Uh, we are getting close on the eggs. Almost cleared out all my eggs. Uh, we are 4.4. We got 9.4 and a 4.2 as well as that 2.4. I don't care about that 5k M egg. Um, unless it's hatching me a Vulpix, then I don't really care. 
Does it take a hundred candies to evolve Vulpix? This is important. I gotta know this. No, it only takes 50. I got 13 now, which actually was a low number. And it was actually pretty disappointing. Uh, I think it also helps that the that it's really sunny out today. Doesn't isn't that supposed to help you find uh, Vulpix and whatnot? Uh, fire Pokemon is what I meant. Help you find Fire Pokemon. I think that's what it's supposed to mean. Uh, when it's sunny out, you find more Fire Pokemon. Has kind of been the case, I guess, seeing as I found two Vulpix. Um, with all these Vulpix on my nearby, I thought I'd find more. I thought I I thought I'd catch a Vulpix like every like five Pokemon or something like that at least, but I've been lucky. I'm mostly finding Rattatas and Pidgeys, which really sucks. I guess I'm gonna do one more drive around, a little bit of a quicker one. Okay, we're not we're we're not counting the Rattata as the one Pokemon. I gotta I gotta give you guys something else, something better than that. Oh, I guess I'll go one more drive around, and it'll be a little bit quicker. I'm not going to be stopping in, like, every alcove and driving around. We're just going to go with the main road, and uh, then I'll go ahead and call it a day, because one more trip around should hatch all the eggs. Pidgey, thank you. Pidgey doesn't count either, but I'm more apt to catch Pidgeys than I am Raticates, because I can actually get some pretty decent Pidgeots to leave at uh, gyms, so I'm willing to catch her, catch, catch her, I'm willing to catch her, I'm willing to catch, uh, Pidgeys, because it's not that hard to get a 1,000 Pidgeot, which is, which is ideally what I like to leave at gym, something over a 1,000 now, which is mostly just my Hypnos. My Hypnos are what gets to be left. Uh, let's go ahead and start this Electabuzz, because I want him... All right, one more Pokemon, and then, or one more good Pokemon, like a Vulpix or something. Give me something, Pokemon Go. Give me a, I'll even take an Eevee. Just give me an Eevee. Okay, a Weedle. A Weedle does not count. We'll catch the Weedle, but the Weedle does not count. Oh, really, Weedle? Just get caught. I'm sick of some of these Pokemon and their, and their crab. I don't, I forget, last night I was catching stuff, it was a Venonat. It took me forever to catch the stupid Venonat because, oops, driving off the road a little bit, but this Venonat kept being a little SOP, it kept jumping at the right time. Woo! <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, he, he kept jumping at the right times and Pokeballs kept, he kept attacking at the right time. Like, I, I kept trying to switch up how I was throwing my Pokeballs and stuff, but it just wasn't working. The Venonat was like... It was goat. It just wouldn't get caught. <laughs> It'd be great on this last trip around if I could find a Vulpix. That'd make me really happy if we could find one more Vulpix. One more Vulpix for the road. I could have had three Vulpix right now if I didn't jack up that that catch. Oh my god. Oh, Weedle. Another Weedle. The, the, the game is lucky I like Beedrill and Butterfree, or I'd be pissed every time a Caterpie or a Weedle came up, and that would be a lot. But I don't have... I have one good Beedrill. I don't have a good Butterfree, so I still need... still need these candies, so I'm not too upset that I keep getting them. Are our eggs coming along? Yeah, 9.7, 4.7, 4.5... I'm hoping to hatch another Growlithe or a Vulpix, but the odds are just not in my favor with 5k eggs. There are just so many things you can hatch with 5k eggs. Like with 2k eggs, you want Pikachu, you want the three starters, maybe a couple other things you want, but generally those are what you want. And you've got a good chance to get them because there aren't a lot of 2k eggs. Uh, and with this 10k, if, as long as it doesn't hatch into an Eevee, I'll be pretty happy as long as... I guess I'd be kind of disappointed if I got another Chansey, but I don't think it'd be too big of a deal. I wouldn't be too mad. Okay, Pidgey, just get in the Pokeball. It's actually a long little recording here where we're driving around, but this kind of just shows you how it goes with incense and if you're moving on a road at a, a semi-slow pace. 
you get a lot of Pokemon pop-ups, which is nice. Oh, we got, oh, no, 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 I thought I had another Pokemon. Just taking another quick peek at my eggs, 9.7 still. Hopefully I do hatch these by the time I get around this park again, because I don't want to drive around the park again. Okay, so there's a Vulpix, there's got to be a Vulpix, like, right around here. It's got to be in the woods or over by this Pokey stop. I mean, it's got to be somewhere close, because it keeps moving up to number one here. I just wish I knew where. And there we go, he falls back down. I think he's across that bridge again. We're not going to do the bridge again, but I think that's where he is. Let's go ahead and catch this Pidgey. Only finding Pidgeys and Weedles on our final trip around the park. Kind of disappointing. This Pidgey, if I don't catch it here, is going to run away. Because I am still moving in the car. Yeah, see, there he goes. He's beast out. Now oh, there's another Pidgey. <laughs> Hey, can I just get one more Pokemon that's not a Pidgey before I get out of this park that isn't hatched from my eggs? Let me clarify because I know how I know the game would give me some crap like that, even though the game can't hear me. That always seems to go, seems to be how it goes. Like, if you tell, if you're like, oh, you know, I'll play one more game if I, I don't know. You guys know what I'm talking about, though. I think I'm going to drive around this little alcove. Oh, Vulpix! Let's go! I said I was going to drive around it because this is where I found Vulpix, but we don't have to drive around it because we've got a Vulpix right in front of us, and this is actually a weak Vulpix, so that's nice. And I can't throw a Pokeball. Come on. There we go. Come on, Vulpix! I might as well just finish around the park. We're, like, halfway there. I might as well just make this a long end to the video. Vulpix, I swear if you ran away... I can't, I can't lose another Vulpix. It can't happen. So we're going to go Ultra Ball on a 93... Oh, yeah. Just, oh, excellent. There's no way this Vulpix isn't getting caught. There is no way. If he escapes an Ultra Ball, an excellent Ultra Ball while being Raspberry, that would just be... I would feel cheated. I would feel cheated by the game. Oh, you actually get experience for an excellent throw. I did not know that. But there we go, nice. We've picked up yet another Vulpix. All right, Pidgey. I guess you can you can come along too, since you were caught. You're since you were sighted right next to the Vulpix. I'll let you join the team. All right, I, I'm thoroughly happy with how today has gone. Uh, is that two or three Vulpix? Is that three Vulpix? I think three, two. Is that two Vulpix? Gosh, I can't even. I don't even know. Okay, don't want that one number. Oh, Vulp Okay, that's two Vulpix. I've seen three Vulpix. Okay, here we go with the eggs. I Now, I don't know if this is the 5k egg or the 10k egg. Okay, that's the 5k. And that's not really what I wanted, but whatever. Okay, we've got to be close to hatchet. That, yeah, we're on 10k. 9.99. We are extremely close. Come on. It's going to hatch any second now. Watch like a Vulpix will pop up when this egg's about to hatch. I really want an Aerodactyl. Okay, let's catch this Pokemon. Catch this Pidgey. Okay, I don't even need to do the circle. But Oh, and I missed. Oh my gosh, Pidgey. You 24 Pidgey. Just get... Just get in the Pokeball, please. Just get in there and stay. Be a good little Pidgey. Alright. Egg hatch yet? Egg hatch yet? Come on, egg. Hatch it up. Hatch it up. Come on, egg. What are you doing? Okay, what about this one? How close is this? It's 4.84. I feel like I owe it to you guys to hatch that egg, too. Okay, why is this egg not hatching? It was at 9.99. I'm going like 5 miles an hour. Make sure the egg hatches. Like, I can walk and jog faster than this, so... Come on, 10k egg, you can do it. Come on, what is this? Alright, if you're not going to hatch, give me a Vulpix. Pokemon Go, give me a Vulpix. 
Evil Fix, and that's an Oddish or no, it's a Spiro. I'll take Spiros. I don't have a my Firo kind of sucks. So oh my gosh, it's really hard to throw a Pokeball. There's like moss attacking my car. It's kind of hard to throw the those type of Pokeballs where you spin them. It's kind of hard to do it on uh, when you're driving. That's why you don't Pokemon Go while driving. Except I'm in a park and I don't really, I'm in kind of a, what's it called, a closed environment. There's no cars out here. And why is this 10k Agni hatchet? What is happening? Why is this happening? Alright, well, I guess we'll just keep on meandering. I'm not cutting it now. We're seeing what's in this 10k egg in this little clip. This isn't even a clip, this could be like its own video. It's like 14 minutes. But actually, this was kind of, I think this was actually worked out well, because this is like a full trip around the park. You guys kind of got an idea of what I was seeing all day. Or not all day. Oh, Oddish. I want the Oddish. Give me the Oddish. I want to get this Vile Plume, because I think I'm going to have a beastly Vile Plume. Oh, crap. What the heck? Throw it! And then it does it. Oh, my gosh. Oddish. Get in the Pokeball. All right, can my egg please hatch? Please, please, after I catch this oddish, can my egg please hatch? Yeah, stay in the po- Oddish, I hate you, I hate you. I'm surprised you didn't run away. Probably need to park. Um, this kind of sucks, because now I'm at the end of the park, like this is like where I need to leave. So if my eggs don't hatch, gonna have issues and they're not hatching yet to what is happening there we go here we go 10k egg oh and it's an onyx i'll take it one of the wor one of the bad ones you can get like onyx and eevee are pretty bad 437 wow that's a really bad onyx but it's a new pokemon so i'll take it like Obviously, I would have liked something a little bit better than Onyx, but... Oh my gosh, I almost missed this Krabby. Krabby. Okay, so I'm going to come up here and turn around and head on out. Uh, but I hope you guys all enjoyed this um, this drive around the park. And then in the next time I come to the park, I'm going to get out of my car. And we're going to do some stuff out of my car. I'll probably do like one drive around and then I'll, I'll get out and do it on foot the rest of the way but how close are we to this egg let me see we're at five we're at 4.99 so let's actually just do a little bit of a drive you can see that little alcove i'm just going to turn around in it and hope that by the time i get back near the entrance it uh it hatches because this 5k m egg could be important if i pull a growlithe or a vulpix you know, odds are definitely stacked against me, but anything in a 5k egg is good. Um, I'm happy with that. And mostly anything in a 2k egg, like I don't want a Rattata, but there are a lot of things that I still need. Like in the 5k eggs, there's Ekans. I still need that. Um, there's just a lot of stuff I still need. Like what are we looking at as my Pokedex? We've seen 75, caught 75. We're barely around halfway through the Pokédex, which is just crazy. Uh, I need to definitely... I, I'm definitely on the the, the Pokédex grind, but there are some Pokémon, like... I haven't even seen a Dratini in my nearby ever. Like, how am I supposed to... What am I supposed to do about that? Nor have I seen a po Porygon is just going to be ridiculous. How am I getting a Porygon? Because that thing... You can't hatch it from an egg, obviously. And so it just makes me wonder, how the heck am I catching a Porygon, dude? How is that supposed to happen? Okay, I can't actually get to that Pokestop, I don't think. Okay, egg, any day now, please hatch. I just, it's probably going to be something crap that I don't want. But come on, egg, hatch. I want to show the video. I don't know how long this clip has been. It's been pretty long, but... I don't know, I like my episodes to be a little bit long, give you guys something to watch. I know I kind of hate when people's episodes are like 
five minutes or six minutes. I'm like, okay, you could have showed us a little bit more. Maybe I need to adopt that and show a little bit less. Okay, well, egg. I see how it's going to be. Okay, so we're going to pull over here and I'll do a quick recap of what we found today. And uh, then hopefully the egg will hatch. Because I think it's just a time thing. The egg is just trying to spend time. I don't know what Wi-Fi my phone is attached to. Like what it's hooked up to. My phone is on Wi-Fi now. I don't know what Wi-Fi it's on. Um, so let's sort by recent. So we've got a Krabby, Hatch the Onyx. We got an Oddish. Caterpie, Sp Spiro, Pidgey, Ghastly that we hatched, Pidgey, uh, a Vulpix that we caught, which is great, uh, two more Pidgeys, two Weedles, another Pidgey, a Rattata, a Paris, I just want to look at the Caterpie candies, yeah, I'm getting close to getting a really good Butterfree, so I'm happy about that, uh, we caught that Venonat, Oddish, Goldeen, Pidgey, Pidgey, Meowth, uh, an Electabuzz, two Rattata, Whoa. Two Raditas, uh, a Vulpix, Pidgey, Radita, Oddish, two Raditas, Pidgey, uh, Meowth, Weedle, Bellsprout, Weedle, Pidgeotto, Chansey that we hatched, and that might be it. I think that's about it. Okay, so here we go. That was the egg popping up. I knew that's what it is, but I didn't think it went like that. So here we go. What are we getting out of this 5K egg? Give me something good. No whammies. I'll take it. You know what? I'll take a polywag. I've got plenty of polywags, but I will take it. It gives me 19 candies. I need 100 to evolve him. You know what? I will take a polywag. Uh, but now I need to get out there and get more Pokemon eggs because we are down to a 5K and a 2K. Um, I don't like to use the 2Ks. In, I want to use them in this incubator because it doesn't break. Uh, but that is going to do it for this episode, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. I think maybe in the next one I might be going downtown to my local town. It's not too big, so I'm not sure what to expect. Uh, I may not even do a video on it because I don't know exactly what I'm going to find down there. Uh, but I think that may be the next video. If not, uh, I will see you guys in the next one, and you guys will know what it is. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you all then. Peace out.